Okay. This video is a little bit different than the dropping the ball off the cliff because we're throwing a ball upward this time. Um, all right, so I'm going to work through it. Um, just try to follow along, try to get with the process that I'm doing, <clears throat> and then uh, you'll have some time to practice. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that I need to figure out the max height. Uh, the max height is the distance it's going to travel upward before it starts falling down. And max height, the thing you need to know about that is that this is going to happen, you remember, when velocity equals zero meters per second. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to figure out the amount of time it's going to take for this 50 meters per second to run out. Right? We know that it runs out at a rate of 10 meters per second. So if this is 50, I know that this is 40 meters per second, 30 meters per second, 20, 10, and zero. How many seconds does that take to do that? One, two, three, four, five, right? Interesting. 50 divided by 10 is 5, right? And that's what we get when we use this equation, right? So if you don't want to have to draw it out every time, this is what I would do. All right, A equals B over T. Remember, top and a bottom, if you want to figure out the time, you just swap these out, right? Time equals B over A. Remember that A on Earth, 10 meters per second squared, right? So if my velocity initial is 50, I'm going to divide by 10, and that takes 5 seconds. Okay, 5 seconds to reach its max height. Okay, so now when I'm figuring out the distance, you see the distance equation right here? The distance equation right here, that's what I'm going to use now. So here's my distance equation. Distance equals the initial times time plus one-half gt squared. Now, my v initial, can I cross this out this time? No, because it's not zero. So I'm going to have to plug in a 50 here. Right, so 50 times the amount of time. And how much time does it take? Five seconds to reach its max height. Plus one half. And it's worth noting that if up is positive 50, then down is going to be negative. And so acceleration is not 10, but negative 10. Okay. So instead of a 10 here, I'd have to plug in a negative 10 because they're going the opposite way, the vectors, right? Okay, the time is going to be the exact same that I used for this time. So 5 squared, which is 25. Okay, so what is my max height at 5 seconds, knowing that it takes 5 seconds to reach the max height? 50 times 5, and then plus 0.5 times negative 10. You can just turn that into a negative 5 if you wanted to. And then times 5 squared, which is 25. And we end up with a height of 125 meters. So this is kind of involved, right? Let's walk through that again. I had to figure out, when I figured out my max height of 125 meters, I first had to figure out the time to reach max height. Okay. And we do that by dividing the initial velocity by acceleration due to gravity 10. Okay? Again, so we find we first have to find the time to reach max height by dividing my initial velocity by acceleration due to gravity. I did that by swapping out A and T. Okay? All right, so what's my velocity at seven seconds? So let's see. Uh, what was my equation for dropping? Here we go, right here. Seven seconds. Um, the way I'm going to teach you how to do it is a little bit different. Here we go. Um, we we'll go 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, and then everything that happens on one side happens on the other. It's symmetrical. Free fall is going to be symmetrical. Okay? So if I had 10 here, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, negative 50. Okay? It's the same, but just the opposite sign. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So at 7 seconds, I would be going negative 20 meters per second. I'm going downward. Okay. And my hang time, this one's kind of cool. My hang time is just 2 times the time of the max height. So if it took 5 seconds to go up, it's going to take 5 seconds to go down. 10 seconds is my total hang time. Okay. okay let's do the next problem. This time I'm going up at 70 meters per second. My max height, how do I figure out my max height? Well, I know if I divide my speed by acceleration due to gravity, I'm going to figure out the time it takes, right? 
seven seconds to reach the top. That's important. Right? It's really, really important. Because now when I do my distance for max height, my velocity initial times time plus one half GT squared. All right, let's plug it in. 70 here. My time is seven seconds. Plus one half. It's negative 10, right? I forgot that. One half. Remember, why is it negative 10? It's negative 10 because acceleration is the opposite. Right, the opposite. So this is positive. That means this would have to be negative 10. Okay? And then my time is 7 squared. All right, this time we get 70 times 7 plus 0.5 times negative 10 times 7 squared for 79. All right, so my height is going to be 245 meters. Okay. My velocity at 14 seconds, well, if it took 7 seconds to get up, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Look at that. So if it's 70 here, it would be 70 here, just negative 70 meters per second. Okay? So it's going to hit the ground at a, the same speed that it left the ground, just the opposite direction. Okay? So 70 meters per second. And what's the hang time? If it takes 7 to go up, you got to double it. you got to double it times 2. Okay? Times 2. So it took 7 to go up, it's going to take 7 to come down. So 14 seconds total. Alright, cool.